In this video, we'll go through an example where we'll use the Poisson distribution to calculate the probability of a certain number of, of births given an average rate per hour. So we're told that births occur randomly in a hospital with an average rate of 1.8 births per hour. And we're interested in knowing what the probability of there being five births in any two hour period. So uh, the important thing to keep in mind here is we're given the rate for one hour, but we wanna know the number of births in a two hour period. So we can just use uh, 1.8 as the, the parameter for a Poisson distribution. Okay, so for one hour, the parameter lambda in our Poisson distribution is 1.8. Then as you might expect for two hours, because it's an average rate, it would simply double. So we can call this, let's call this lambda prime. So this is for one hour or true average birth rate for two hours, it's just two times the rate of one hour, which is about, which is 3.6. So that means that the probability of there being five births is equal to, remember our mass function was lambda, right? it's e minus lambda over x factorial. For two hours, lambda is equal to 3.6. We wanna know the probability of a random variable being equal to five. So little x is equal to five. And if we plug this in, then we get 0 0.1. One four. So we have a probable uh, fourteen percent chance of there being five births in any two-hour period. Notice that if we had uh, wrongly used the lambda prime of 1.8, then the probability x is equal to five. Just plugging in the values would have been 0 0.026. Okay, so this would have been the probability of there being five births in one hour. In only one hour. Okay, so it's an important distinction. If you're given an average rate over a certain period of time, as you were over here, but then you're asked for and the number of events over a different period of time, you need to scale your average value accordingly with a Poisson distribution. So this concludes our uh, explorations into important discrete probability distributions. In the next video, we'll, in, we'll begin introducing some important uh, continuous distributions that occur frequently in practice.